Hi fellow gamers, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Joy-Con controller as a single pair for the Switch emulator Ryu Jinx. Unlike the other well-known uh, emulator named Yuzu, Ryu Jinx just wouldn't let you natively use the pair of Joy-Con as one single controller. See, the first thing first, uh, we need to connect both controller left and right to the window system. You know, make sure you have a Bluetooth connection. Okay, see, you can see the Joy-Con L, Joy-Con R, the left and right hand side are both connected to the window system. And to verify the connection, you want to open the uh, USB controller set up USB controller and then you will see both controller have been recognized by the Windows system as well as uh, gamepad okay okay this is the the blue one is the, the the left one it's working well and I want to make sure okay this is the the red one see here we already see the problem Okay, the pair of Joy-Con have been recognized by the Windows system as two separate controllers. See, if we go, if we open uh, Ryu Jinx, okay, we go to settings, input. See, you will see it has both controller listed. See, there's no way to, no way you can use both. All right. So now here comes the trick. We'll need to use Steam. We'll need to use Steam to combine those two Joy-Cons as one single Windows controller. See, it's sort of like a virtual controller. And then, you know, we use Ryu Jinx to, uh, to read the controller setup from Steam, okay? In this way, the pair of Joy-Con can be treated as one single controller in Ryu Jinx. So you can enjoy, enjoy the same level of gaming experience just uh, like uh, you know what it would do on, on the switch okay see you go to library from here you want to add a game add a non-steam game and then browse okay you want to select ryo jinx okay i already i've already done so so you can see it's already here and then you do the property and controller make sure from here you enable steam input okay let's enable steam input okay now we are already, we already uh, done the trick and and we need to launch rail jinx right inside the steam library so you don't launch it directly from the rail jinx folder okay now it's already launched and we go to options, settings, input. Okay, see? Now both, con both controllers have been combined together and treated like one single X input controller. See, and it's it has been uh, mapped to a pro controller, okay? Now let's try game. Okay, Super Mario Bros. Monger. Yeah, it's a it's a brand new game. Just came out. It's a fun game. I've been playing this game with my with my son Albert all the time. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's try this game. Okay, let's 
just got a little bit of clay. Okay. Okay, this game is working fine. The controller is working, working too. But I still would like to emphasize that, although it does work, but you know, um, uh, using uh, Joy-Con um, on your Windows PC uh, is uh, um, you know nowhere near the experience of this guy Xbox uh, controller. So I still recommend this for any of your Windows PC gaming. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. Uh, guys, if you have any question, please leave a comment below. You know, I'll try my best to help and to answer all your questions regarding emulation. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.